good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Sons of Western Armenia, Eduardo Yernegian, on the issues of the Armenians of Western Armenia, Russia should leave Artsakh in 2005, Erdogan, Armenian tombstones with crosses of guards destroyed, complete blockade has shifted issues to a completely different direction, head of Kolada community, church in Hadrut neighborhood losing its original appearance. Within the framework of the century of Armenian cinema program, films will be shown in the regions of Armenia. Eduardo Yernikian is one of the Latin America's most successful entrepreneurs. Yernikian's companies are engaged in infrastructure, agriculture, energy, retail, and banking. Argentinian businessman of Armenian descent, national hero of Armenia, Eduardo Yernikian was born on December 4, 1932 in Buenos Aires to a family of Armenian immigrants. The Yernikian family founded a textile enterprise. Eduardo Yernikian was not married and has no children. In the list of the richest people in Argentina, the 90 years old entrepreneur is the second place. His fortune in 2013 amounted to 1.8 billion US dollars. Under the control of Yenegan are 49 airports in the world. Yenegan's best known businesses are Aeroports Argentina 2000 and Corporation America. The businessman also owns the television network America TV, four radio stations, and the financial magazine El Cronista. On September 21, 2017, Eduardo Yenegan was awarded the title of National Hero of the Republic of Armenia. Today, as it was thousands of years ago, the apricot tree continues to be the most widespread fruit tree species in Armenia. Tiraneni, the old Armenian tree, is native to this biblical soil. The village of Akori on the slopes of Grand Masses, which tradition associates with the name of Noah, the ancestor of the new humanity, was one of the oldest Armenian settlements. It was destroyed in the 1840 earthquake of June 20. German traveler and naturalist Moritz Wagner, together with Hachat Rabovian, revived the village of Akori three years years after the earthquake in 1843. They were amazed to find that the earthquake had erased all traces of Akori except for certain apricot trees that remained unharmed in the village's famous garden. Such a miracle can only occur in the Armenian world, said Moritz Wagner. No, Hachatur, this sign holds profound meaning. The apricot is a symbol of Armenia, Mr. Wagner stated. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said at a press conference after the NATO summit in Vilnius, according to the agreement of the leaders of Baku, Armenia and Russia, the Russian peacekeeping contingent should stay in the Azerbaijan region until 2025, the Baku media reported. In 2025, Russia must leave the territory. I believe that Russia will remain faithful to the agreement, Erdogan said in response to a journalist question about Russian peacekeepers. Erdogan added that Aliyev is also closely following the process. The government of Western Armenia, referring to Erdogan's statements, said that the head of the foreign state has no right to interfere in the internal affairs of the independent state of Western Armenia. The state of Armenia created by Pogosnubar in 1920 was also recognized by Turkey, which was independent not on today's territories. Artsakh is a province of the independent state of Armenia. No one has the right to interfere in the internal and external affairs of the state of Armenia. We understand very well that Erdogan, Aliyev and others are waiting for a new geopolitical division in 2025 and are ready to do anything to realize their goal. The whole Armenian nation remembers how Turkey realized its state. We remember and will never forget the pogroms carried out by Turkey against Armenians in 1915, as well as the pogroms of 1990-1920 in Shushi. We are sure that the same can be repeated at any moment. The nation is ready to confront and restore our legal rights throughout the entire territory of the state of Armenia. Stone tones with scattered crosses, most of which are in a ruined state, have been spotted in cars. This is reported by the Turkish new agency ICLAS, according to the source for the construction of new buildings, which began several years ago in the city of Kars, the Uçler quarter was devastated, where graves with crosses are destroyed day by day. Some of them have been destroyed by treasure seekers, while the other part has been taken under the protection of local residents. In the place known as the Armenian Cemetery, tombstones of different sizes with crosses engraved on them were found. Local residents know that there is a ruined church in this part, believing that such historical exhibits can be displaced in a museum, thus contributing to the development of tourism in the region. The complete blockade has significantly changed the life of Kolata community of the Martaget region of the Artsakh Republic, transferring the problems to a completely different plane. In a conversation with the correspondent of Artsakh Press, the head of the community, Seyran Avanesia, noted that before the imposed harsh conditions, there was a certain activity in the village. Pilgrims from different settlements of Artsakh visited the historical monastery of Hakopavank, located in the administrative district of Kolatak. Recently, due to the field problem, this activity has also disappeared. We somehow overcome the 
winter period with last year's harvest and available supplies. To a certain extent, the problem with food products are solved with the help of coupons. Today, the problem with fuel has increased. We managed to fulfill spring sowing works with the state support. Seeds and fuel were delivered in time. In this difficult period, it is good to see that the residents of our village support each other, lend a helping hand when it is felt necessary. Rosetta Lars said in the Koladak are in the center of attention, summarized the interlocutor. According to videos posted on the internet by one of the Azerbaijani users, it can be seen that construction work is underway on the territory of Kavakavank Monastery Complex, located in the occupied Hadrut region. This is reported by the Monument Watch ORG website, which monitors Artsakh's cultural heritage. From October 12 to 14, 2020, intense fighting took place around Kavakavank, and the area was shelled. The Azerbaijani army used the church as a military base, as a result of which the structures, ornaments, and Armenian inscriptions were considerably damaged damaged or destroyed. There was no information on the state of the church after the 44-day war until this video surfaced. We can see from the video that the church and its surroundings have been considerably damaged by enemy bombardment, with collapsed parts, fallen and scattered stones, and a damaged roof. This damage was not present before the 2020 war. The Khachkar dedicated to the memory of the freedom fighters installed next to the church in 1995 has disappeared. It is very possible that the Khachkar was destroyed by the Azerbaijani army. It it should be noted that the Azerbaijani side does not even conceal its attitude towards the crosses, Khachkar's various memorials and newly built churches erected on this site since 1994. The video shows that the Azerbaijani site has revealed the area around the church and carried out earthworks. Judging by the equipment seen in the video, a new thermal road is being built right up to the church. Of greater concern are the works inside the church and on the park. Judging by the video, the park is considerably damaged, with the ornate moldings almost gone. And of course, the cheap propaganda trick in Armenian circles of calling the church built by Armenians in 1742 and bearing Armenian inscriptions a church. Our answer. It should be noted that according to On the Protection of Cultural Values in the Event of Armed Conflict of the Hague in 1954 Convention and its Supplement, 1954 and the 1999 Protocols, it is forbidden to use the cultural value defined by the Convention for Military Purposes. Article 6 of the Second Hague Protocol of 1999 prohibits the transformation of cultural values into military objects, or they are used for purposes which might expose them to risk of destruction or damage. And according to point C and D of Article 15 of the Second Protocol, such an act qualifies as a war crime. It should be noted that in 2021, the International Court of Justice in The Hague made a decision on December 7, stating that the desecration of Armenian churches was prohibited. Azerbaijan is obligated to take all necessary measures to prevent and punish acts of vandalism and desecration committed against Armenian. Armenian cultural heritage. Furthermore, according to PES Resolution 2583, the denial of the fact regarding Armenian cultural values and their connection to the Ahvans was recognized as an Azerbaijani fabrication. With the support of the Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sport of the Republic of Armenia, the National Film Center of Armenia, within the framework of the 100th anniversary program of the Armenian cinema, will present a regional program, Armenian Film Dar, from July to November. The goal of the program is to popularize Armenian film heritage and modern films in the region of Armenia. About 100 Armenian full-length and short classic and contemporary films, including restored samples of Armenian cinematography, have been selected for the program. Film screening will be held in mainly in March and regional centers where there is no possibility of organizing film screenings. The program will be held in 10 marzes of array in schools, cultural centers, and open areas. The program will provide an opportunity for large-scale popularization of new thrills and modern films, attracting different layers of society where everyone will find animated documentaries and future films of interest. One of the important nuances of the program is the subtitling of films in English, which will enable foreign visitors in Armenia to get acquainted with the classics and modern films of Armenia. Armenian cinema, which is essential for the internalization of Armenian cinema, broadcasting from various online platforms. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. Surt mara penandak tava sarga ganchin chur yer peri manang amot elni mes murmen karga hal tsung churga dar tsung kergat peri kelnik zarat.
چیک درون بار برمن کارگه حال تونک چرگه در تونک کرگات دریکه گلیت سرات با چیک درون بار